So here I've just pulled apart the cauliflower, so that way it's in chunks so it's easier to grate. And what you'll need is a bowl and a grater. And so here I'm just grating it. So if you don't know what cauliflower rice is, that's that's how you make cauliflower rice. And that's a little preview of what it starts to look like. And then make sure you wash your cauliflower beforehand before you use it because that's always important. So just like the title of the video is, we've got some cauliflower rice that I just showed you and then here is some frozen peas and carrots from Wegmans and there's no other added ingredients to them so that's why I'm okay with using them but I guess I'd prefer to use fresh ones but if this is what you have then I don't see any problem with using it. And I just pour them in the pan first before you put the cauliflower rice in just because they're frozen so it, they take longer to cook but um, you can add whatever spices and whatnot that you want but I added some pink Himalayan salt some dill weed but I'm I am a huge fan of dill so it just kind of depends on what you want it to taste like and I've got my little helper today and so he was super excited about it. So honestly, this is a really good recipe for kids to help you with too because it's super simple. Obviously, you have to be careful with the stove, but um, we used an electric skillet this time. And one thing I don't like about electric skillets is because they heat up and then they, then they like lessen the amount of heat that they provide. So it's just kind of an uneven amount of heat the entire time. So. I'd rather use a gas stove, but if this is electric works just fine. And so, like I said, use whatever spices you want. Um, but I, we use the pink Himalayan salt, some dill, oregano, basil, and just kind of... I just smell them if you're not good with spices, kind of like I am. Not, not good at choosing ones, so I just kind of pick some random ones and throw them in there. So... Yeah. So here, I just honestly make sure I cook um, the peas and carrots pretty much, pretty thoroughly, and that way, because um, it always takes longer for them to cook since they were frozen, so the cauliflower rice, to me, doesn't really take too long to cook, so I just like doing this. Obviously, you can kind of do, make it however you want it. But I'll just pour the cauliflower rice in there and then mix it around and try and get most of the cauliflower rice to on the bottom for it to cook nice and well. I did add in some garlic, but I would honestly add that in towards the beginning so the flavor comes out more. And here's just the ending outcome of it, and I think it tasted really good. And here's an overview of the spices that I used. I try and make, I will, no, I don't try. I make sure that I have as natural of ingredients as I can possibly get. So obviously, um, just make sure there's not a lot of extra things in the spices that don't need to be there because it's not a necessity. So, yeah. So be sure to comment down below what other recipes you'd like to see and make sure you like this video and please subscribe to my channel for more food videos and there'll be a mixture of other videos coming soon. Um, but thanks for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.